Hello! Today is a book haul day, which is really exciting. I realised, god, that uh, since Christmas, which was not that long ago, it's March now, so about two months, I've accumulated a lot of books, which I had no business in doing because I had a load of books that I got at Christmas, which I still haven't read. So, mm, now I just have this huge pile of unread books, and it's, it's taunting me because I have stuff to do, I have uni stuff to do, but I have all these amazing books that I haven't read yet, but... So I just thought I could show them to you guys because I'm excited to read them and you could tell me if they're good and then yeah, cool. So the first book I picked up was Burton on Burton and I think this is just a collection of interviews with Tim Burton who I love, anyone who knows me will know that I love Tim Burton. Nine Before Christmas is one of my favourite films of all time and just he does, he does good things, he does good things. So I'm really excited to read this. I then picked up Trainspotting by Irvin Walsh because I saw the first film in January and then I watched the second one when it came out in cinemas and I just wanted to read it because I liked the story and I thought it was really funny and I've heard I've heard good things about it so I'm excited to read this. I also picked up this beautiful cardback copy of Neverwhere and this is one of my friend's um, absolute favourite books of all time. Um, I think, yeah, maybe of all time. She just really likes it and um, told me it was really good and I think it's about this kind of underground city network thing which sounds amazing and it's illustrated by Chris Riddle who does beautiful illustrations. Uh, let me just try and find one. Just so detailed and gorgeous and I'm just really excited to read this. It sounds awesome. I then picked up The Princess Diaries by Carrie Fisher. And I was strangely affected by the death of Carrie Fisher at the end of 2016 and I say strangely because I was never a fan of Star Wars growing up. A lot of the tributes that came in were talking about how much she impacted people's childhoods and how they kind of grew up watching, you know, Star Wars and Princess Leia and all that. But I didn't really have that relationship with her at all. I just, in recent years, have gotten really into film as you know probably because I go to uni and I study film and I love film and she was such an advocate for female representation in the film she was such a strong voice in the industry and she spoke a lot about mental health as well and that was also really relevant and really pertinent and she's so intelligent and really really funny and just every time I thought about her I just got really inspired to kind of do do good things and so that kind of propelled me to buy her book and sadly you know reading this is not going to be a happy experience I guess because obviously it's incredibly sad that we lost Carrie Fisher but I think what's important to remember is what she believed in because she had such strong morals and I really hope that this book kind of sums that up and brings that home and I'm really excited to read it. As I think I mentioned in previous videos I'm trying to get into more manga and anime um, so I bought volumes 1 to 3 of Full Metal Alchemist, but that's just in this kind of bind up thing, um, which is about <laughs> God. Uh, alchemy, the mystical power to alter the natural world, somewhere between magic, art and science. That just, that just sounds cool. I mean, I'm excited for that. And he looks intense, so I think it's going to be good. And then I got All You Need Is Kill. And I got this because the art is done by the same person who did the art for Death Note, which I've raved about endlessly on this channel. Um, and it's cool, it's got like a thing on here and a thing on here. Um, it sounds, <laughs> I mean it sounds cool, but this is, um, when the mix invade, KG Korea is just one of the many recruits shoved into a suit of battle armour called a jacket and sent out to kill. KG dies on the battlefield only to be reborn each morning to fight and die and die again. So it sounds cool, but... The immediate thing I thought of when I read that was Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> because you know there's that bit in Wreck-It Ralph when they're fighting the bugs and they just go again and again. So it sounds a bit like that and I just, I, I that sounds really cool. I mean I like things that are based on video games. I really love Wreck-It Ralph and Ready Player One and I just think they're really exciting narratives so I'm really excited to get to this. I picked this up ages ago but I just forgot to mention it but Magnus Chase and the Hammer of Thor. I read the first Magnus Chase book which I really loved. Uh, I love all of Rip Riordan stuff, Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus, you name it, I've probably read it, it's amazing and great and I just love the way he's just so funny and clever and his stories are just so action-packed and exciting and I just love 
love reading them that you do, they use, you get to escape for just a couple of hours which is really great and what I love about this series is that it focuses on Norse focuses on Norse mythology I always struggle saying that um, which is mythology that I'm not too familiar with when I read all the Greek and Roman stuff they were kind of echoing things that I'd heard before like in school or whatever but this is all brand new to me and it's really interesting so I'm really excited to read it and then picked up Caraval because this has been all over booktube and it's just gorgeous and I've heard everyone saying that it's like the Night Circus and it sounds a lot like the Night Circus. It's about this mysterious carnival and then these two sisters get an invitation to the carnival and then one of them goes missing over the course of the carnival. Um, and the tagline on the front is remember it's only a game. So that sounds mysterious and magical and beautiful and I'm really excited to read it. Also, beautiful design on the on the cover, I really appreciate that. So I'm really excited to read that and I love The Night Circus so I really hope that this lives up to its hype because comparing it to The Night Circus, it's a big deal. The Night Circus is an incredible book so I'm really hoping that this is good too. I then picked up Heartless by Marissa Mayer and she wrote The Lunar Chronicles which I have read and loved and um, ah. So this is another retelling but it's a retelling of The Queen of Hearts um, from the story of Alice in Wonderland and I'm really excited to read this because I loved obviously Marissa Mayer's retellings in The Lunar Chronicles so I'm really hoping this is good because I also love the story of Alice in Wonderland and this it just I'm excited I'm very excited. And lastly I picked up Six of Crows which I said in my last video that I wanted to read because um, I've just finished the Greaser trilogy and this is set in the same world but following different characters and everyone and their granddad apparently has read this and loved this and said it's so good and yeah it was on like everyone's top 10 list of books of whenever this was released and all that stuff so I'm really excited to read this hopefully I get to it soon I have so many books to read ah, ah, ah. <laughs> So those are the books that I've been buying when I shouldn't have been buying them because I have tons of books to read already, but anyway, <laughs> so for the foreseeable future I will be drowning in books, which is a pretty nice state to be in, but anyway, uh, let me know if you've been buying any books recently, what you've bought, or if you've read or bought any of the ones that I've just mentioned. Just speak to me about books, that, that'll be cool, and uh, but I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!